guys, welcome back to Sciences Bedroom. Uh, I'm Spandan, back at your service. Uh, I know it's been quite some time since my last, you know, chemical experimental video and videos where I do crazy stuff. Anything as you as you like it and uh, whatever I, things I get in the market because not everything is avail available in the market. And um, so here I am back at it since many of you wanted more scientific videos to be done along with my gaming videos the gaming videos will also be there constantly and along with that i'll keep on doing those scientific experiments uh, like those old days uh, so uh, the last video i did i, I think it, it's been years since the last scientific video so mainly this time i wanted to kick start yet another series of good scientific videos with a little simple experiment it's not even an experiment to be honest uh, it's actually you know uh, to identify acids and bases it's basically a uh, very you know kindergarten stuff for uh, good chemists and uh, chemistry lovers uh, today i'm going to do phenolphthalein test all right and uh, uh, before going on to the uh, actual experiment, I'll just tell you that uh, there will be more gaming and scientific videos, but only if you all show good amount of support. So subscribe to my channel and please like my videos. Comment down your views in the comment section below. Um, okay, then let's start. Um, so basically, uh, it's middle school stuff, not kindergarten. <laughs> I, I just exaggerated on the fact. Uh, phenolphthalein test is uh, actually used to identify, you know, uh, bases and acids. And phenolphthalein itself is a very weak compound. So, uh, actually in theory, whenever an acid is, you know, uh, mixed with phenolphthalein, it remains colorless. And uh, when a strong base like uh, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide is uh, mixed with phenolphthalein, then it turns dark, you know, pink, uh, kind of pinkish purple in, in that hue, you know. So first I'll do the experiment and then I'll tell you the nitty gritty details of the actual reaction that goes on uh, for the identification of such compounds. So here I have a concentrated NaOH sodium hydroxide solution. I have a phenolphthalein, of course, because I'm doing a phenolphthalein test. So I'll have phenolphthalein. And here I have a little of hydrogen chloride or you know hydrochloric acid. So and here's basically a spare test tube where I can just test go on with the tests. So it's a simple apparatus. Uh, since I wanted to kickstart this experiment. You know, <laughs> I'm growing old generally, you know, I, I have beards, so I need to do the experiments as soon as possible. Uh, nothing like that. I, I joke a lot nowadays and most of them are poor jokes. Uh, anyway, so here on, let's start. So first I'm going to add uh, some phenolphthalein solution uh, in the spare test tube. And uh, then I'll be adding the HCl solution and we'll see if the color turns something or it just remains colorless. Uh, I guess the thing, uh, you know, <laughs> the pressy is very clear. Uh, it is colorless. All right. Uh, now let's wash the test tubes and return for the second part of the experiment. Well, uh, now I have uh, dropped some phenolphthalein here in this test tube. Uh, I'm going to add the concentrated NaOH solution and we'll see if there is a color change. Sorry. Okay. So there's a distinctive pinkish purple color. No. Uh, in that hue, as I said. Uh, so, this is like the distinctive test for a base 
uh, as you as you know like sodium hydroxide is uh, literally a base a very strong base so in that case phenolphthalein gave a characteristic pinkish purple color or rather for your school exams and all uh, mainly books prefer the word pink and not the word pinkish purple but you know what you, you know you can see the color so uh, it's fine uh, you know categorizing color is actually not the job of chemists uh, it's partially a job, job of chemists but that is not all chemists do so let's not waste time in that so pink for distinct a uh, distinctive pink color for bases and colorless for acids i have got a you know a close up video of the color so that you can actually like see it clearly So here is basically uh, like a character profile of phenolphthalein. Uh, the chemical formula is C20H14O4. The density comes out to be 1.277 grams per cc at uh, 32 degrees centigrade. That is uh, basically room temperature for all you know tropical countries. And generally, the change in color that happens is uh, here. Uh, basically in acidic when the environment is acidic phenolphthalein stays in this this format in this structure uh, actually this this one if you go by optical chemistry then uh, this will actually be you know the dark line and this is dotted line so basically like uh, if you take optical isomerism in consideration, then it will look like that. Uh, here, uh, similarly for those two bonds. And uh, here in base, this is the form that phenolphthalein takes. And it is because of this form that it becomes pink in color. The range in which phenolphthalein actually works is from 8.2 to 10 pH. Alright. Uh, it wouldn't work you know for all bases it won't work from you know 7.1 to uh, 8.1 uh, it won't work it won't work even above 10 all right it will only work in this this basic place you know and uh, as i said uh, phenolphthalein is in itself a very weak compound it's an organic compound as a general uh, character profile of uh, acid base or pH indicators, uh, I like to say that these are actually substances which are usually weak acids or bases and uh, they dissociate slightly to form ions when dissolved in water and these indicators change color depending on the pH of the solution which can be determined visually of course as you, as you have seen. And the change in color of a pH indicator with respect to change in pH is due to the formation of different forms of indicator molecules at different pH. Therefore, selecting an appropriate indicator based on conditions being used becomes very, very important. Like uh, here in the case of phenolphthalein, we saw that its range is from 8.2 to 10 pH. And uh, hence, uh, you know, that's everything about a pH indicator. Generally, uh, there are many other scales like pH, but pH is most widely used. Uh, you can even like see other indicators like methyl orange or even the litmus solution. So this is not it. Like this is not the only thing that is there for indications of acids and bases. You'll learn more in uh, next videos of our of our channel and. I guess that's it that's uh, everything you want to know uh, for you know chemical general knowledge and so like like my video if possible and share it amongst your friends comment in the comment sections below uh, what other verification uh, what other variations you want in the next chemical experiments and do subscribe if you are new to this channel goodbye